As any of you who have watched my videos regularly know, you know that I built a thing to allow me to control this trash picked air conditioner remotely with a programmable thermostat. Well, I recently made some improvements to this and corrected a wiring mistake on this terminal here that resulted in its being loose and having the potential to cause a problem, but I added some things to this design to make it, um, well, more interesting, I guess you could say. I added something everybody loves, blinking lights, <laughs> which is a term you'll probably be most familiar with if you're into computing as I am. Anyway, these are two neon indicator lights up here, and the first one just indicates that you've got power coming into the box. The second one goes on when the contactor closes when it's told to by the thermostat. Now, in order to show this to you, I've got to be kind of quick on my feet. I'm going to shut this container here. I'm going to go over here to the thermostat and turn it on. And then I'm going to head over here very quickly. And as you can see, the second one lights up. Also been up to some other things over here at the Roach Palace. They were the previous owners of this house installed this outlet here, which is convenient and fine, but then they did something stupid. They ran what is basically glorified lamp cord under the carpet to the outlet on the other side of the room where they hoped they could plug it in when they needed power over here. Well you never you never run electrical cord or wiring under carpet because at the very least if there's ever a problem, you might set fire to your carpet, which is really a problem because carpet can really burn. And the other thing is that as people walk on it and stuff like that, or as furniture's moved around, that cord's going to get crushed and abraded. So that's coming out, and I'm actually going to a little later on with the keykeeper's help. We're going to run a new wire and a new circuit all the way into the fuse box in the other room. And finally, about an hour, hour and a half later, I've got the new wiring run for the outlet. It's tested. It's working great to run this fan. But now, it's a little past midnight, and I, and quite possibly the keykeeper, are going to sleep because we've had a big day.